And now we're going to try this, uh, this more difficult cubic sequence. And we can't try uh, the same thing we did before because uh, it doesn't quite compare with n cubed. So instead what we have to do is to, to just go ahead and try to find the differences. So we'd find the, the first row of differences here. Um, and just be careful with the signs. So to go from 0 to 12, you have to add 12. But then to go from 12 to 10, you have to subtract 2. And then we subtract 10, subtract 12, and then subtract 8. The next row would be um, subtracting 14, and then subtracting 8, and then subtracting 2, and then, sub uh, then adding 4 because it gets uh, less negative. Okay, and then we would look at the, the <coughs> next differences, the third row of differences. So to go from negative 14 to negative 8, we have to add 6, and here we add 6, and here we add 6. Interestingly, it all become constant on the third row. And unlike uh, the quadratic sequences, we have to not divide it by 2 now, but if it's the same on the third row, you have to divide it by 6. So this uh, coefficient of n cubed would just be 6 divided by 6, which is 1. So it's 1n cubed. And we have to work out what this is as, as a sequence. And we remember this from our first part, it's part A. That was 1, 8, um, 2, 3, 3 cubed, 27, 64, 125, 216. So that keeps going like this. Now what we have to do is to inspect this. What do we have to do to this green line, this n cubed line, to get the white line? Well, I'll write the white line again. So that's un. That was 0, 12, 10, 0, negative 12, negative 20. What do you have to do to that green line to get the white line? So to go from 0, from 1 to 0, you have to subtract 1. To go from 8 to 12, you have to add 4. To go from 27 to 10, you have to take away 17. And here you have to subtract 64. Um, to go from 1 to 5 to minus 12, you have to subtract 137. And then to go from 216 to negative 20, you have to subtract 236. Now, I don't know what this is. We need to find out, though, what is this blue line? Because the white line, which is what we're trying to find, is going to be the green line plus the blue line. So let's try to work out what this blue line is. And the way we do that is just by doing the same things we did before. We work out the first row of differences. So the first row, to go from negative 1 to 4, you have to add 5. And then from 4 to negative 17, you have to subtract 21. And then from negative 17 uh, to negative 64, you have to subtract 47. And then from 137, uh, or to get to 137 from 60, negative 64, you have to subtract 73. And then to go from 137 to 236 uh, is subtracting 99. Okay, so that's not constant. We need to go again. To go from 5 to negative 21, we need to subtract. 26. And to go from negative 21 to negative 47, you have to subtract 26. 
here you have to subtract 26 and here you have to subtract 26. Now notice now it's the same on the yellow line. It wasn't the same on the yellow line on, on the first one, it was the same on the, on the green line. So because it's the same on the yellow line, we know that it's going to be a quadratic sequence. So this blue line has to be quadratic. So we can work out what that is by taking this number and dividing it by 2. And that would be negative 13. That goes in front of n squared. So we would have to work out what minus 13n squared is as a sequence. So by putting 1 in, you get negative 13. Uh, putting 2 in, that's going to be 4 times 13, uh, which is 52. And then it's going to be 9 times 13, which is minus 170, uh, 117. Sorry. And then 16 times 13, which is negative 208. So that's the quadratic part, right? We need to find out then what uh, um, uh, what this blue line is. So the blue line we knew was quadratic, and we knew that it had something to do with this yellow line. But what exactly? Or we'd have to work out what the difference is. So if we wrote the difference um, with the blue line, I don't know what the blue line is, I'll just put a question mark here. So that uh, was negative 1, 4, negative 17, negative 64, and it does keep going, but I'm not going to bother with that. So what do you have to do to the yellow line to get the blue line? Um, well, Let's do that in pink. To go from negative 13 to negative 1, you have to add 12. To go from negative 52 to 4, you have to add 56. To go from negative 117 to negative 17, you have to add 100. And to go from negative 208 to negative 64, you have to add 144. So. What is this as a sequence? Well, here you have to add 44. And here's 44 as well. Ah, and here's 44. Right, so we know now that this pink line, this pink line here, is 44n. And we go back um, 44 from 12 to get negative 33. Okay, so that's us done. All we have to do now is to put it all together. So the white line, which is un, that was equal to the green line, which was n cubed, plus the blue line. And the blue line we worked out to be this yellow part plus the pink part. So that was the yellow part, which is minus 13n squared. And the pink part which is the linear term. And this is it. This is the overall cubic sequence. It, it take, takes quite a long time to do, but that's the process. You just have to work out the cubic part first, eliminate that, work out what the remaining part is, which is the blue line, which is a quadratic. And once we worked out what the quadratic was, it was just the cubic part plus the quadratic part. The quadratic part happened to have a linear part in it as well. So this is actually quite a complicated one. Um, but uh, this is uh, the, the way to solve any cubic sequence.